beautiful people <laughs> welcome to my youtube channel welcome to oju olapi space oh thank you so much thank you so much for always stopping by to watch my video to click on my video oh i say thank you so much for my returning subscribers oh i say a very big thank you god bless you and if you're just watching me for the first time mm, you are fully welcome welcome to today's video and as you can see today's video is all about our ijebu ikokore for party <laughs> so today i'm just going to take you through how we make our ikokore ijebu for party so we are using our firewood <laughs> can you see it's a real typical food so as you can see this is how we grate is a grater this grater is made up of wood and a tin a canteen that they make oh using the um, a nail so that is like i see it. so we are grating our water i am yes this is what i am we use what i am to make our ikokore not just ordinary ikokore ikokore ijebu <laughs> So after grating, this eye is going to look like sometimes it's like it wants to decolorize, it's be changing to some colors. Nevertheless, never give up, it's still okay. It's just due to the type of the cocoa uh, water yam that you're using. So we are using our, our firewood, as you can see. I've lighted my firewood, set it very well. If you don't know how to use firewood, then I'm going to show you in my next video how to set your firewood to what to cook your food so this is my firewood that i've been set i'm so sorry this is my clay firewood pot is like moving off but nevertheless you can see i'm using a steel um stand to make sure that the pot is going to stand firmly without it falling without the cooking pot falling off from it <laughs> so this is my pot and as you can see i'm adding my ogiri so you can see that is ogiri if you want to if you want me to show you how to make ogiri just put it in the comment section it's so easy and it's nutritious you don't really need all this spice with ogiri your kokore takes best so then we add our branded pepper this branded pepper is grinded with grinding stone sorry i didn't show you that part <laughs> because this is a really locally cooked food so it's blended with um grinding stone and the pot we had water and we've added our grinded pepper just only just only pepper yes you don't add tomato you don't add any other pepper just our normal atarudu our grinded pepper so we allow it to boil we cover it up for everything to boil then never forgetting we add our salt this is our salt we add salt now look at it very well it's just the water the pepper ogiri and our salt that's all that we need we don't need any extra paparazzi <laughs> So after adding this, so for the main time, we just make sure that it boils. The firewood that reduced due to the father, we don't really want it to get born because normally you can correct get born easily. So you make sure you reduce the fire. So what we usually do is remove the sticks and allow the rate for which the fire is really burning to what to reduce. So this is our water yam. We add salt. Then we are going to mix it. This is how to mix it. You don't just mix everything else once. And you have to be careful the way you mix your um, 
what I am because <laughs> if it touches your skin, it's really scratchy. You're going just to feel it, this uh, scratchy sensation and it really hurts. So you have to be, there is a way you make sure, there's a particular way you make your hand. You stretch it and try and make sure that it moves, it makes, the salt mix with the water i am so we have to make sure that everything blends together because we are not adding anything to it just the salt that we've added in at initial state so so as you can see everything is mixed then we sort, test for salt <laughs> in case there is enough salt or if this salt is not enough that's why it's on my pause so i'm going to continue to mix because everything has to be really mix together so i make sure i mix everything we are adding fish this is a fish a dry fish we are adding our fish so we are just removing the back of the fish and the bones so we're going to remove them remove everything the bone every part that is bony then this is the fish can you see so we added the fish to the water that's on fire. But mind you, after adding the fish, we just allow it to boil for some minutes. Then we pack out the fish so that everything will not get burned. Now this is uh, what I am. Now this is how you put it on fire. You make it like a ball and put it inside the boiling pepper. Added water and... Um, with salt and ogiri. You're just going to add it bit by bit like this, like a ball. You don't just pour everything in. <laughs> so these are ikokore ijebu. And can you see our firewood? This time around, the taste of firewood food, eh? it takes different. It takes unique. I don't know. Do you, how do you really feel when you eat a food being cooked? especially that's why you see some people tell you i want to go to party it's not for any other thing. just because of the way they cook this particular food this firewood gives our food there's this aroma and this special taste i beg has anybody noticed that just put it in my comment section if you ever notice when you visit a party food and your house food is different so this is our party ikokore being cooked with what our firewood so we are just going to put everything like you're frying but this time around you're not frying the frying you are really going to cook it this is going to be cooked so we just put it like we want to fry there is not really any coin quantity that you're going to put just as your hand can just hold a ball so you just dip it inside pack it like a ball can you see like you want to fry a car <laughs> So we are going to put everything, everything inside the water. Then if you notice the water is not too much because it really gets ready in time. So we don't add excess water. Just make sure that your water is um, small. Mm, just little water. You don't really need much. You don't really need much. Then our fire is burning. <laughs> so wow this is lovely this is lovely you're going to love it you get if you taste this ah you know that you miss something if you're watching the like my space and you've not subscribed please support subscribe let's share this video let me get more subscribers please please share my video subscribe to my youtube channel if you like more of this type of food or this type of way of cooking so i'm going to show you everything to roasting of fish using firewood to how to set your firewood if you like things like this just put in my comment section and let's know now whoa, see it's really boiling this is how i cook it our ah, kokore on the way on the go on the move <laughs> so so what are we going to do now we're just going to make sure that we cover it so that it will steam it's going to have steam now remind you we don't add palm oil at the initial state can you see Ooh, our kokore is ready i've added the palm oil and you can see so so ready thank you for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe like and share Bye.